In this class, we are going to re review the Java collections. Uh, some of the main interfaces in Java are the list, the set, the map, collection, iterator, and queue. Let's look at the list interface. It is an ordered or a sequence collection of objects. By ordered, it means the, or the order is as per the insertion order and not the sorted order. You can access each element in the list via an index, which is an integer and some of the classes which implement the list interface are the array list and the linked list. The list allows uh, duplicate values or null values. And in a set, which is similar to the mathematical concept of a set, you cannot have duplicate elements and there is no guarantee on the order of the elements for most classes that implement the set interface. It can have at most one null value and classes that implement this interface are the hash set, tree set, and the linked hash set. The hash set uh, does not allow null values. Uh, the hash set allows null values, but the tree set does not allow null values. And the linked hash set preserves the iteration order by the order in which the elements are added to the set. Then you have a map interface, which is a, a collection of key value pairs, where each key maps to a specific value. There are no duplicate keys in a map. And each key can map to at most one value. And the class, some of the classes which Im implement the map interface are the hash map, the tree map, and the linked hash map. The linked hash map preserves the iteration order by the order in which the keys are inserted into the map. So, when we are working with uh, all these different classes, how do we choose which implementation to use? So, the order in which the, the, the reasoning behind choosing an appropriate implementation can be accessed by this flowchart. If you are accessing by the key, that means it contains key value pairs. So you want to look, look at the map interface in this particular direction. And within the map, you want to see the kind of access that you want to have. If it is a fastest key lookup, then you use the hash map. And if you want to preserve the iteration order, then you use the linked hash map. Or if you want the fastest iteration over the keys in the key sort order, use the tree map. If you're not accessing by the key, we are traversing this path. So you're looking at sets or lists and sets do not allow duplicates so if you go in this direction you're going to into the set interface and the kind of access determines whether you want to use a hash set or a tree set if you're using the set to check for containment of members and you want the fastest performance then you use a hash set if you want fastest iteration over the members in the sort order then you use a tree set and if you want a predictable iteration order, you use a linked hash set. If you want to have duplicates, then you use a list. And if you want to access by index, you use the array list. And if you want to have frequent add or remove from the front or the middle, then you use a linked list. And then there are different classes for collections. If you want to create a synchronized list, you can use this method called collections.synchronizedList and pass a list object to it and it will return you a list which is synchronized and can be accessed by multiple threads on the same list. If you want to make a collection immutable, you call the collections.unmodifiable list and you can pass a list object to it. These, these methods also work for maps and sets. So you have collections.synchronized set, collections.synchronized map and similarly you have collections.unmodifiable set and collections.unmodifiable map. Then there are uh, two different classes. One is a concurrent hash map, which is much faster than using the collections.synchronized map. The, con the concurrent hash map is useful when you want to, when you have multiple inserts happening into the map, but very few reads. Whereas the collections.synchronized map is more useful when you have a lot of reads and very few writes. 
then this uh, collections also have the iterator interface which lets you iterate over any collection and access the elements in an iterative order the list.iterate will provide an iterator and has next method checks whether there is another element available to iterate and the next method retrieves the next element and one important thing to note is the Java collection classes are fail fast which means that if the collection is changed while some thread is traversing over it using an iterator the iterator.next will throw a concurrent modification exception so this was a quick introduction to Java collection classes